Okay, let's talk about synthetic division. Synthetic division is a shortcut for dividing something that looks like this. So we have a polynomial p of x divided by x minus some number. Let's do an example. So let's divide 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x plus 2 by x minus 2. What we do is we take this number after the minus sign and we put it here and put this kind of little uh, partial box beside it. Then we take, so the numerator, the polynomial here, must be in descending order of power. What we do is we take the coefficients and we line them up neck after this guy right here. So the leading coefficient is 2, we put that there minus the, the coefficient of the x cubed term. Okay, we have to have a representative for every power. 4, 3, 2. The power of 2 is not there, so we put a 0 there. The power of 1, the coefficient is negative 1, and the constant term is 2. Okay, so that's the x cubed, I'm sorry, that's the x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x, and constant. Okay, so the f next thing we do is we take this number here and we bring it down. Then we multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. We put it below this term. Then we add. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Then we multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. Put it below the next term. Add. 0 plus 2 is 2. Multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. Add negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Multiply, we get 6. Add, we get 8. Okay, this guy here, that's the remainder term. That there is the constant term when we divide this polynomial by this polynomial. This guy right here, that's the coefficient of x. That's the coefficient of x squared. And that is the coefficient of x cubed. So what we get when we divide 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x plus 2 by x minus 2 is 2x cubed plus x squared, 1 times x squared, plus 2x plus 3 plus the remainder divided by x minus 2. Let's do another example. Okay, in this case, we see that we have a plus sign here in the denominator. Remember that synthetic division is used when you have a minus in the denominator, x minus a number. So the first thing that we're going to do is rewrite this. So instead of x plus 2, we're going to put x minus a minus 2. Okay, so now again, whatever follows the minus sign here is what goes in this little partial box. Then we take all the coefficients there, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so in this case, we don't need a 0 because every power of x is represented here. So we have 2, 4, negative 1, 5. We bring down the 2, we multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so the 7 is the remainder, that's the constant term, that's the coefficient of x, that's the coefficient of x squared. So our answer is 2x squared plus 0x, so we're going to leave that out, minus 1, plus the remainder, divided by x minus a minus 2, which is really x plus 2. Okay, so that's our answer.